He is back ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Lucas is back and in his stupidity decided to make a video about how great it is that Starfield got delayed, which is just really petty. Why would anyone celebrate a video game getting like delayed just because it's like an exclusive on the other console? You know for a fact that if this game was a PlayStation exclusive, this guy would be crying his eyes out while excessively emailing PlayStation customer service, who would then block him again like they did when he started excessively emailing them about Returnal. But anyway, I've rambled for long enough. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Bro, you, you cannot tell me that this man is not clinically insane. Oh my goodness. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. If you guys haven't heard, oh, if you guys haven't heard the good news, well, I guess it's sad for the Xbox. I'm pretty sure Amazing Lucas has said in the past he's not a PlayStation fanboy. Uh, he pretty much confirms that he is one now by saying that it's good news. A video game that is not on my console got delayed. And no, not only extreme Xbox are upset about this. Literally anybody on PC and Xbox who wanted to play this game is probably upset about the fact that it's getting delayed, although it's probably for the better. The fact that you're enjoying a game getting delayed because it might upset the people who wanted to play that game proves how much of a petty little Sony pony you truly are. Let me just, before we even start, if you guys want to see what a gaming uh, controller looks like, this. This is a gaming controller, okay? Oh great, he has one of those cringy don't forget to subscribe thingies. Also guys, uh, don't forget to fucking subscribe if you like this video. Most people watch my content art. Because this, this, this has games. <laughs> Do you guys want to see what a paperweight looks like? I'll show you what a paperweight looks like. This, this is a paperweight. This is a very expensive paperweight. <laughs> Now I also find this joke incredibly hilarious and somewhat ironic, mainly because the amazing Lucas is the human equivalent of a paperweight. Fucking useless. <laughs> Bruh, this is, this is what you use, you know, if you have a whole bunch of papers, you, if there's a good gust of wind, just put this on the papers and they won't go anywhere. They'll get the f*** out of here. Okay, Lucas, you don't have to explain, okay? Unlike you, most people have an IQ level above room temperature. So they know what a paperweight is. I know you only learned what a paperweight was yesterday during kindergarten, but most of the world is actually aware of the fact that when you put something that's kind of heavy on paper, the paper will not, you know, be blasted away by a gust of wind. Uh, listen. Oh, oh, poor, poor, poor little Xbox. Do y'all... Do y'all want this? Hmm? Do y'all want this? These mofos were constantly screaming about, Oh, Starfield, Luke, it's Starfield. Starfield's gonna be great. Starfield's the next game. It's gonna be awesome. Bruh, if you haven't heard, Starfield has been delayed. Oh, shocker. <laughs> Why is he pretending like he already knew this? Like, literally, I'm not even kidding. Every single time the amazing Lucas predicts anything, he's always wrong. So I highly doubt he somehow predicted that Starfield was gonna get delayed. Like, he said he said that, oh, Bethesda might get bought out by Microsoft, but the Bethesda games will still be releasing on PlayStation. Well, they're not releasing on PlayStation. He said that PlayStation would never make a Game Pass equivalent. They did. He said that PlayStation would never put their games on PC. They did. Then he said that they would never put God of War or any big titles on PC. God of War and a lot of other big PlayStation exclusive titles like Uncharted are now on PC. This dude is always wrong. <laughs> bruh, these mumfos just keep taking L's, bruh. Xbox is the L console. You cannot spell loser without Xbox. You Actually, I'm pretty sure you can, you know, L-O-S-E, Xbox, oh fuck. You just can't, it's impossible. They're synonymous, they go hand in hand. These fools were hyping up a game 
that they haven't even seen gameplay of. <laughs> how, how, how delusional do you have to be? Okay, but PlayStation fanboys do the same thing all the time. They also hype up games without any gameplay, like Wolverine. Actually, later on in this video, uh, the amazing Lucas will start talking about how great Wolverine is gonna be and about how Xbox players can't play Wolverine, which is so incredibly fucking hypocritical because he's now complaining that Xbox fanboys hype up Starfield without knowing anything about the game, while he literally only a couple minutes later starts doing the exact same thing for Wolverine, a game we also know nothing about. They keep talking about, oh, you're a Sony pony, bruh. No, I'm a game pony. No, you're not a quote-unquote game pony. If you really loved video games, you wouldn't be celebrating the failure of video games. You wouldn't be celebrating a video game from a different console getting delayed or getting cancelled. But you do, because you're a fucking pathetic little Sony fanboy. You're a corporate shill. Nothing more. Hey, that's what I am. This happens to have games, you know, Spider-Man, uh, uh, God of War Ragnarok, I, uh, hell, we could even go back to Drake's Uncharted. Do you understand Xbox currently, as of today, okay, has no game to compete with Drake's Uncharted? Okay, so first of all, your console does not have God of War Ragnarok, it's a game that hasn't been released yet, and I thought we weren't supposed to hype up unreleased games. And yes, Xbox does have games that can compete with Drake's Uncharted, like, you know, Halo Infinite, for example. Now, I know that Halo Infinite, uh, multiplayer-wise, isn't the greatest game of all time. Uh, it deserves a lot of criticism for that, but I still think that the uh, campaign is brilliant. But yeah, no, it doesn't really make sense to compare Drake's Uncharted or games like that to Xbox exclusives, because Xbox doesn't really have any third-person action games with cinematic cutscenes and stealth elements, and Sony literally only has those type of games. It's the only game they make. They just make the same game over and over and over again since Drake's Uncharted, but whatever. Think about that. That is sad. That is real sad. These mofos have no games for the rest of the year. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Yes, it is very funny because apparently this fucker can't use Google and find out that Scorn is coming exclusively to Xbox in October. Which, Lucas, uh, I know you're not exactly an intelligent person, but October is a month later this year. It happens every year, but it hasn't happened this year yet. So yes, there still are games coming to Xbox later this year. At this point, y'all might as well just throw away the console and buy a PC. I mean, to be honest with you, at this point, there's really no reason. There was never a reason to have an Xbox. But now, you guys might as well just put money into a PC. I mean, I feel like there's still a pretty big reason to get an Xbox. Obviously, personally, I prefer PC. But if you don't want a PC and you still want to play Xbox Studio games, I I'd buy an Xbox, you know? <laughs> Join the clickers. Just you know, the, the WASD crowd. I just... Bro, how does this guy think people use mouse and keyboard? Like, when he uses a computer, does he sit, like, hunched over it? <laughs> or whatever? Like, I just lay back in my fucking chair, dude. Like, I don't have to sit, like, crouched fucking over my keyboard with, when playing a video game. Like, Join those mofos, the, the, the PC uh, uh, peasants. Yeah man, PC peasants, the guys who can play both Xbox and PlayStation games on one machine that n runs them better than either of the consoles ever could. Yeah man, we're totally peasants. Uh, also mods, my guy. Fucking mods. It's just sad, man. It's really sad. I honestly, I know I laugh and I kid a lot, but listen guys, I'm really sorry for you. I really am. It, it, it pains me. To know that we, going into 2023, are going to be playing Spider-Man 2. It pains me to know that we are going to be playing Wolverine. It pains me! <laughs> to know that some of you guys are playing gunk.
you guys, oh, some of you guys are playing Tetris HD. Oh, Lord, 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 oh. Okay, so I, he likes to shit on gunk a lot. I don't know why he does that. Uh, I guess it's because it's kind of a cartoony looking indie game. It's exclusive to Xbox, but you know how many cartoony looking like indie games there are on exclusive to PlayStation? Well, let me guess, those don't count, right? Or those are actually really good. And also, he's hyping up Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine, two games we know literally nothing about, but, you know, when you hype up Starfield, that's bad, right? Because you don't know anything about that game. Hypocritical as fuck. Lord, pray for these lost souls. Pray for these lost souls. I don't know what to tell you. You actually, at this point, you have to be an a, a, a Xbox pony to have an Xbox. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't just say Xbox pony and hope that that will somehow catch on and take away from like the Sony pony thing. You can't do that. You can't do that, okay? You're a fucking Sony pony and Xbox are Xbox. Don't try to shove the fucking uh, insult we created to make fun of you. Don't try to shove that off onto other people. You're a fucking pony, they're fucking bots, okay? You don't get to decide. Like, that's what you are. If you're defending Xbox right now, you're just a, I don't know, you're a corporate slave. Yeah, man, I'm definitely a corporate slave because I defend Xbox, a console I don't even own, from retarded people like you who make up lies about it, like saying shit that Xbox doesn't have any games and it's not gonna have any exclusive coming out this very year, even though one Google search could show you that it does have exclusive games on it right now, and there will be exclusive games coming to it this year. But no, I am definitely a corporate slave. You know, it's not that you're a liar, it's that I am a corporate slave. This dude lives in a fucking fantasy world. But they do not care about you. How much more obvious can it be? Do you remember Halo? Do you remember the gameplay they showed during Halo? It wasn't until their own fan page ridiculed the graphics <laughs> that Halo was like, you know what, uh, we need to put this back in the oven because this is not looking really good. And even when it came out, it still wasn't competing with anything. Okay, so first of all, I think it's funny that he's trying to lecture people on companies don't care about you when this guy was literally crying because PlayStation wouldn't refund a game he bought. He was literally saying shit like, oh, you know how much I've done for Sony? Like they cared. But now that, that is the same dude who did that, who is here lecturing people that Xbox doesn't care about you because the graphics of Halo Infinite weren't very good when they showed off an early beta version of the game. Okay, man. Also, imagine caring about graphics. Isn't that just so fucking dumb? <laughs> Hell, Halo didn't even compete with Horizon uh, 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 Zero Dawn. Forget the newest Horizon game. <laughs> oh. I don't, do I even have to explain how dumb that shit is that he just said? Not only does this guy lack brain cells, he apparently also lacks eyesight. Uh, because anybody with two working eyes could look at a screenshot from Halo Infinite and at a screenshot from Horizon Zero Dawn and see that Halo Infinite is just the better looking game. But whatever. Anyway, this is the end of his video, which means it's the end of mine. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, it's almost June, which means we're gonna get a lot of fucking E3, like, press conferences and shit. Although E3 is officially cancelled, but we'll still get the press conferences. And the amount of fucking salt that's gonna come out of that is gonna be amazing. So if you want more, of sh more shit like this, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.